What we can tell you is it happened outside of this gas station and convenience store Saturday night. And details about what happened are in images that detectives continue to pour through now. You're looking at surveillance video from the scene, the same that investigators examine. They say it shows the dispute Saturday night at around 1115. Two groups of young men encountered each other, with the main people being the victim, identified as O'Shea Sibley by police and family members, encountering the suspect, who you see in the surveillance video wearing black shorts, according to detectives. Words were exchanged, and minutes later, after the words escalated the situation, a fight broke out on the sidewalk at the side of the gas station convenience store. A knife came out, and according to police, the suspect stabbed O'Shea Sibley, who was 28 years old. Now, Sibley was a dancer who performed widely with an LGBTQ dance troupe, according to family and friends who say that troupe even performed at Lincoln Center. Witnesses said that Sibley and some of his friends were dancing outside of their car while filling it up at the gas station here. Witnesses said that a customer inside of the station told them to stop because he'd found the dancing offensive. That customer, the suspect, may have also made anti-LGBTQ comments. The search is still on for him. He's believed to be in his late teens and possibly from the neighborhood. Police spent Sunday examining evidence and looking for the teen in this case, which remains open. And in part because of the comments made, in addition to homicide detectives, the New York Police Department confirming that the hate crimes task force has been brought in as part of the investigation of this case, which continues to unfold. We'll stay on top of it with the latest updates throughout the morning. Right now, reporting live from Midwood, Brooklyn, I'm James Ford, PIX11 News.